Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the web browser on your LG TV. And this is rather easy. You can use this to like check your weather, or you can add bookmarks and stuff. Um, so you can check the news or something like that. So you got all these different channels right here. You can see um, you got the Amazon, you got Reddit on here, and then you go up to the top right and you can block ads. Then we got TV View if we want to turn this on. Uh, we can have an HDMI source over there on the left. Well, we're still using our internet browser. Uh, then we got history, bookmark, settings, etc. So we can add things as a bookmark if we go to that section and then we can add them to the top right here. So when we go back to the home screen, uh, we can find them and access them very easily again. So we can go to the plus and then uh, type in a new website. So to access this, so you can see it for yourself, go back to the home screen and we have this app list on the bottom. When you get your TV, you probably have like 30 different apps on here and you can't see anything. Uh, we can just go to the right and we can find something called uh, the web browser right here. So you can see it, it looks like this. It says web browser. So just keep going all the way over to the right and you can edit your list so you can find it easier in the future if you wanna drag this to the top. So let's just press web browser and I don't think we can delete it. So let's drag it up to the top here, right next to apps, and then we can close it and we can find it. Here's YouTube, let's go to web browser and then open this up and then you can start searching and using this yourself and we can go to settings for the web browser, open a new tab, continue where I left off on startup, uh, search engines, Google, Yahoo, Bing, wish we had like more, uh, Yahoo is kind of, not the greatest anymore, but I like Bing for images. Uh, show recommended sites. Obviously show address bar, so we can turn this on. So we can actually see what website we're going to. We got private browsing down here. If we're going to be looking up stuff we don't want uh, saved or anything like that on our browser. We got site filtering. You can register websites to block or allow if you got a bunch of kids. Pop-up lockers, uh, do not track. Ask your website to not uh, track what you're doing. Uh, enable JavaScript, cookie settings, use block ads, automatic web browser issue report, clear cookies, clear all browsing data. So if you want to delete all the, your browsing history on here, go to that section right there. We got a bunch of different settings in here. So here's the home screen. Let's try Reddit, go into Reddit, see what's on that. A lot of nonsense can be on here sometimes, but Reddit can be fun to go through. And I don't see my URL popping up at all. So I might have to go back to my settings and turn that on so I can actually browse specific websites, but we can go to search right here and type it in. Uh, www. Let's go to my favorite uh, news source, n4g.com for video games, not political or anything like that. So let's go to this website and go to enter and just see how this runs. This usually has a lot of ads on it. So if this doesn't pop up on here with a bunch of ads, I'd say this is pretty good. You can maybe try going to uh, certain websites to watch sports then you know and it says subscribe for notifications by clicking right here so let me get rid of this go to escape and then again scroll on down you can see the ads but the ads are actually blocked so this is seeming like it's uh, working pretty good for the ad blocker uh, usually this is just bombarded with ads so it looks like it works actually quite well so I'm gonna go ahead and just add this as a bookmark, so I can come back to this at any point in time. So you can see it's down here, most visited websites now. I can just right there, return to it at any point. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next to your six tech.